Hello, my name is Dr. D. Vafianis, and we are talking about computerized dentistry. In this video, we're going to discuss anterior implant designs, CAD CAM abutments, and ceramics. There are many different types of digital acquisition units. In this video, we're going to discuss ENCODE abutment, which is a CAD CAM abutment, and Serona's CEREC machine, which actually can make us a crown in one visit. Over the past few years, we've used our CAD CAM technology to make posterior crowns, onlays, and inlays with great success. And from the publications you see here, many other authors also had very good results. The monolithic blocks that are available today much surpass those from many years ago. They come in different colors, different translucencies, different fluorescence. So we can get a perfect match for an anterior tooth. Some of the blocks actually have elliptical and tricolor shades that can give us multiple different colors for our anterior teeth. This makes choosing the right block and picking the right color a lot easier than going to our laboratory technicians that could possibly have a difficult time matching a certain color. The software of CAD CAM abutments are being put together with the CAD CAM software of crowns and that's what we're going to show you today. How we can take CAD CAM abutments and CAD CAM anterior crowns and mesh them together to make a perfect tooth. In this patient treatment as you see here there is an anterior fracture of a number nine central incisor after root canal therapy. The tooth is fractured and has to be extracted. Bone grafting and implant placement will probably be done at the same visit, assuming that the bone levels and the tissue levels are ideal. When extracting anterior teeth, we like to preserve the bone and as much tissue as possible. For all anterior implant restorations, a lot of healing has to take place. This is critical for the biotype of the tissue to be ideal and for the bone levels to be maintained. After the bone graft has healed, about six months, an anterior implant is placed in perfect position to adapt to the bone and preserve the tissue. On the photo on the left, you can see the provisional has been bonded in position while the implant was healing. This again will preserve the occlusion and give ideal anatomy to the tooth. After ideal tissue healing, the ENCODE CAD abutment, which is a computerized abutment, is placed. This abutment allows the computer to scan it and read the codes that are ensued on top of that abutment. Instead of taking a fixture level impression, the ENCODE abutment allows us to take the impression of just the healing abutment. A regular procedure would be to take it with a polyvinyl siloxane material. Remember, a lot of casts and models have expansion and contraction properties. This does not occur for any digital scans. This is probably the most precise occlusal records we've ever taken. We can use the CEREC Serona scanner, we can use the E4D, the LAVA from 3M, or ITERO from KDENT. As you can see, all the scanners have excellent detail and really can capture the codes on top of the ENCODE abutment. Again, this information is really for three things. The width of the implant, the depth of the tissue, and the angulation of placement. This is critical in designing our CAD CAM abutment. After we've scanned it, either on the model or in the patient, we need to measure the facial distance of the implant depth. This will translate to our first most important piece of information, which is the X value of the depth of the tissue for each implant restoration. As you can see, as we're designing our final abutment, the X is equal to the depth of the tissue that we measured. This is very important because this will create the emergence for each of our anterior implants. We then designate how far out we'd like to push our X value. This will determine how much tissue will be displaced. The difference between the first X line and the second X line creates a change. That change is called Y. The two lines, when they're connected, actually make an angle. This angle can be measured digitally, and it can also be measured on any computer software. So the A equals the angle is made by the two X lines as they push out and displace the tissue. The difference of that displacement is what's really critical in figuring out where our final margin is going to be. That change is called Z. That's the difference between X line 1 and X line 2 and the amount of tissue that will be displaced. That's again a critical number to find out final margin for our abutment. So in this formula for this particular patient, X turns out to be 3.4. Y is about 1.8. The angle is small, and the difference in Z is very small, about 0.5. And that's critical for our final margin design in this case. We can see in this images the digital scan of the ENCODE, and then our final design depicted of the tissues in all the different positions. This will give us an ideal position when we place our final abutment. Remember, we only take the ENCODE abutment out of the mouth one time. 
and that will minimize the difference and the change of the tissue. In the interim, while the tissue is healing and while we're waiting for our final abutment, we use a provisional abutment to maintain the tissue. As you can see here, after six weeks of healing of a grafted site, this is the way it would look when we finally take out our ENCODE abutment. Now the site is ready for our final CAD CAM abutment. You can see how the tissue is healed, the proportion of the abutments is in a perfect position, and now we can actually scan our CAD CAM abutment for our CAD CAM milling of our final restoration. Once we've scanned our final abutment, we use a correlation technique of the provisional that was there and the healed tissue to make a perfect tooth that matches the original provisional that we had. This is called correlation window. This allows us to get every angle and every incisal embrasure that we'd like and capture that to our final restoration. As you see here, the final milling out of the machine gives a pretty good replica of our provisional and actually matches the central incisor next to it. To be able to do this in a two visit protocol, one visit for the abutment and one visit for the final crown saves a lot of time, a lot of lab costs and also patient visits. As you can see with CAD CAM technology, the final result is fantastic and the patient's expectations are met if not exceeded. So let's summarize. Over the past four years, We've performed many procedures like this for CAD CAM implants and CAD CAM crowns. Our success rate still stands at 98% and 95% with no complications. Our CAD CAM technologies save time. They are more efficient and more accurate, especially in the occlusal designs. Some of the disadvantages are the cost of the software or the time it takes to learn the software. But these can be overcome in two or three months. The advantages far outweigh the disadvantages. They will help your patients and really help your practice. In this video, we've seen how digital dentistry has helped the clinician, helped the patient, and actually helped the lab as well. The accuracy of these technologies and these softwares have brought digital dentistry to the forefront of our practice. I hope this information can be shared with you and your colleagues, and hopefully you can help your patients as well. From everyone here at the New York Smile Institute, we hope to see you soon.